Manitoba returns to daylight saving time Sunday morning at 2 o'clock. Have you ever considered what that means for some of the clocks around Steinbach, such as the Steinbach Clock Tower? In fall, what we'll do is we'll just literally turn off the power until the next hour comes around and, uh, and then just flip it back on. So that's kind of what we do in, generally in fall. In spring, we, will, we may do that um, at night and just flip off the power for 11 hours till the time comes back. The other option is changing it manually by sending someone up with a crane, but Bandman says he prefers their low-tech, primitive version. What about jewelry stores? Take Golden Memories and their dozens, if not hundreds of watches and clocks, all which tell the correct time. Well, it gives a rookie a job for March. It takes hours, I guess, to, choose, to change the watches over. There's a few watches that are radio uh, controlled, so they'll change with satellite signals and stuff, but probably 99.5% of the watches need to be physically changed. Some of the oldest clocks in Steinbeck can be found at Mennonite Heritage Village dating back to the 1700s. But nobody will be changing those clocks this weekend because though they work, the museum chooses not to run them. It's a fair bit of maintenance. You have to do more cleaning that way, especially if, if, the, uh, if the clock has a rope mechanism. It can create lint that gets caught in the gears. Um, but other than that, we, we just have them stay still most of the time unless we have a special function that we get them going. And one last clock sits at the Aquatic Centre. It's a pace clock for swimmers. This is another clock that won't be changed Sunday morning. Well, they might be really happy because suddenly they're a lot faster per 400 than they thought, but um, no, um, we generally leave it okay. for the swimmers. So what's the feeling towards springing forward in March and falling back in November? Well, I, I take the rational approach, and that is that it was started to save energy. And so I think we should keep it just for the rational perspective. Personally, I don't care for it that much. Don't change it. I would rather just do without it, um, but it is nice to have a little bit more sunlight when you go home, but I like to come in with the sun rising, so I would do it without. Oh, I love it. It's great. It's, uh, you know spring's on the way then. I think that's the, that's the best part of it. Uh, my wife doesn't like it because she loses an hour of sleep, but for me, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. We just, you know that the days are getting longer and you can enjoy the days a little bit more and that summer's on the way. Just a reminder, we officially return to daylight saving time Sunday morning at 2 o'clock, at which time the correct time will be 3 a.m. For Steinbeck Online, I'm Shannon Duick.